Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Rerum Show. And today we're going to be testing some of these 18650 batteries. They're 3.7 volts, and newer shortwave radios, portable radios, are starting to go to this battery, such as your Texan PL880 uses one of these batteries, and a lot of your high-powered flashlights are using these batteries. And so I'm starting to collect these because I need it for my radios and my flashlights. And today we're going to check these Ultrafire. They, this one is rated at 3,000 milliamps. Now I did some testing about a month ago of these. They came, I got these about a month ago, and they came with two batteries and a little charger for, um, let me see, I wrote it on my hand here, couldn't remember, $10, $10, okay, $10, two batteries and a little charger for $10. I did some testing initially, and I didn't get even near the rated capacity. And, of course, a lot of that depends on how big a load you put on it as far as how long or how much capacity you're going to get out of it. So today we're going to test these batteries against the ones that NICOR sent me. These are the NICOR 2300 batteries. Two of these batteries sell for, let me look at my hand, $18 for two of them. So these are... Two dollar, uh, $18 for two, and these are two for $10, and you can get a charger. And the charger is a pretty cheap charger, and I, I really don't trust the charger, as I mentioned before when I reviewed this NICOR charger. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all four of these in the NICOR, Ni NICOR charger, charge them up, and whenever, whenever the NICOR charger says... They're fully charged. It'll sh it shuts off automatically. And then we will individually test them using this little guy here as a holder. This is one of those take-apart ones um, that you can put your own batteries in, put one battery in it. We'll use this as a holder, and then we'll use our DROK um, tester, which will give you an idea of the capacity of the battery. And we will use for a load, this is also by DR OK. Um, here's a load, this is a constant load. It puts a constant load through and some integrated circuits right on the back here. And you can adjust the load with this little knob here. So we're gonna set the load mm, at half an amp. 500 milliamps and we'll test each one of these batteries to see what the capacity is of the battery after it has been fully charged and we have two samples from each company from Ultrafire and from NICOR. We'll see how they do. So I'm going to put these in there now start charging them up. They're pretty well charged up so it probably won't take very long to charge them. Those two are because I used them when I was demonstrating this charger. These are still in the pack. Probably do have a charge on them. So I'll put those in. I don't know how much of a charge. No, it's not It's not near as much as these guys. So they're starting out at, th that one's starting out at 3.7 volts. Where these two start at 4.1. Like I say, I had recently charged them when I did the the demo of this. God, I can't get the darn package open. <laughs> oh. Ah, there we go. So now this charger is loaded up. Now, as I mentioned before about this charger, when you put, the more batteries you put in here, the less current is going through each battery to charge it because there's a maximum amount of current that this charger can't stop focusing camera. Oh, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm rocking a hard place. I can either use this camera that has autofocus, 
and when I move things, it tries to focus. Or I can use my older camera, which is fixed lens. I don't know which ones are better. Anyway, so this one here is at, come back. Let me zoom in. I don't know if that helps any, but it's at 3.75. Uh, we'll go to the next one. It's at 3.73, and those are right out of the package. You saw me trying to unwrap them. Uh, this one's at 4.19. Like I said, I already charged this one before, but we're going to top it off. This is at 4.18. This charger will charge this type of battery until it gets 4.2 volts. So these two down here will charge pretty fast, and... Um, Maybe I should discharge them before I do the test, but meh, the heck with it. Okay, so I'm going to let these charge, and uh, we'll come back with, with another video of the results and compare the Nikkor, more expensive, like $20 or $10 a piece, where these are about $5 a piece, plus it came with a charger. So we're going to see what the difference is. So if you have any questions... Please uh, leave a comment or you can send me an email to trrs73 at gmail.com. It's time for me to go do something else. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.